25. At that time, did you aspire to become Deputy <laughs> Attorney General? I did not aspire to be Deputy Attorney General. I did aspire to be a federal prosecutor. Rod Rosenstein is excited about his new job as Deputy U.S. Attorney after clearing a rigorous Senate confirmation hearing which mostly centered on Russian election meddling and potential collusion with the Trump campaign. His new boss, Attorney General Jeff Sessions, has recused himself from the investigation. Have you ever spoken to the Attorney General about the question of Russian contacts with presidential campaigns? Uh, no, I've had no conversations with Attorney General Sessions about that matter. You know, I want to talk primarily about Maryland, not about D.C. Rosenstein wouldn't talk to 11 News about any potential investigations which he would likely oversee. During his 12-year career as U.S. Attorney, he's worked for Republican and Democratic administrations. We're not involved in politics. You know, we don't get elected. Uh, our people aren't uh, politicians. Uh, and I think people understand we're here to do the right thing. Under his watch in Maryland, Rosenstein has gone after crooked politicians and police officers, and he's prosecuted countless violent offenders. Still, Baltimore has seen a dramatic spike in homicides. Rosenstein describes law enforcement the last few years as divided. When we had a unified effort by federal, state, and local law enforcement to focus on violent crime in Baltimore, we drove down violent crime in Baltimore. We did it uh, from 2007 to 2014, and I believe we can do it again. The current strategy needs to be revised uh, because we're not achieving the mission. The mission is to keep the streets safe. Uh, the streets aren't safe. We need to change our strategy to deal with it. We asked if the consent decree will help Baltimore. Attorney General Sessions is a critic of federally mandated reforms. Well, I think the important thing to understand about a consent decree is a consent decree is about policing the police. It's not about catching violent criminals. We need to be more proactive, more aggressive with law enforcement uh, because our responsibility is ultimately to protect the law-abiding citizens. Rosenstein will have a critical role in shaping policies at the DOJ. He says his experience here tackling challenges in Charm City is an asset. I'll miss Baltimore. You know, most importantly, I'll miss the people. And I don't think the public fully appreciates uh, you know, the, the talent, uh, the expertise, and the commitment to public service that uh, we have here in law enforcement. Adam May, WBAL, TV 11 News.